Dear friends, today we will tell you a very interesting story about a couple from Barney, Israel. Friends, all of you are requested to stay with us till the end of today's video. If you have not liked our video, then like it now. If you are new to our channel and have not subscribed yet, please subscribe now. Friends, there used to be a man in Israel. His wife was a very pious, noble and pure person, and she was God-fearing. He also had a brother along with him. Once, when that man started going on a journey, he took a promise from his brother that he would take care of his pious wife in his absence. The brother nodded his head and made a promise, assuring him, Brother, you can go on your journey without any worries. You will not have any kind of complaint. I will take care of your wife in your absence. That person went on his journey without any worry. She was very religious and afraid of Allah. One day, her husband's brother came to her. Seeing her amazing beauty, the veil of carelessness was lifted from his eyes. The devil had overpowered him. He became infatuated with his brother's wife and broke the promise he made to his brother. He told his brother's wife to commit sin with him. Dear friends, if you have watched the video and haven't liked it, please like it now. He said to his brother's wife, although brother isn't watching, he is not even here. Do adultery with me. That religious woman who was holy was a dangerous woman. She said, if the husband is not looking, so what? Allah Ta'ala is watching my sins, so I will never do such a nefarious thing. When he started to fail in his efforts, he threatened her, saying, if you don't listen to me, I will destroy you. The woman replied, I swear in the name of Allah, I will never accept your invitation full of sin. You can do whatever you want. I am not afraid of you. I am afraid of my Lord. Seeing this subdued behavior of the pure woman, the man became silent. But when the brother came back from the journey, he said to him, My brother, do you know what your wife has done after you left? Listen, she used to commit adultery with me and used to invite me to sin. Your wife is a very immoral woman. Hearing his brother's words, the husband got very angry and said, Do you know what you are saying? The younger brother replied, Brother, I swear by Allah I am telling the truth. I have told you the reality. You can do whatever you want. After listening to his brother, the thought got stuck in the husband's heart that his wife had really committed a great sin and had an immoral character. Because of anger, he stopped talking to his wife. He didn't even ask whether his brother was telling the truth or lying. And finally, one night, getting the opportunity, he attacked his virtuous wife with a sword and offended her. When he was sure that she would have been killed, he went away from there. Dear friends, without going further, first of all, you are requested to like the video. If you have not subscribed to our channel, then subscribe now, and don't forget to click the bell icon for notification of upcoming interesting videos. The husband attacked his wife with a sword and injured her, but she was a pure lady, and despite being injured, the woman was alive by the nature of Allah. That woman reached closer to the house of prayer by hobbling. Hearing her painful howling, the noble man who was present in the prayer room called his slave. Both of them picked her up and brought her to the prayer room. The noble man, with good intentions, kept treating her with great care, due to which she got well very soon. His wife had passed away, and he had a small son. He said to the woman, You have recovered now. If you want to go, then go happily, and if you want to stay here, then it is your choice. The woman said, I have no place to go. The husband has thrown me out of the house, which means he has murdered me. I have no place to go. I want to stay here with you. Hearing this, the noble man handed over his small child to her. The woman raised the child out of love for him. The slave of the noble man, after seeing the beauty of the woman, his intentions got spoiled. He wanted to commit sin with her, and started looking for an opportunity. One day, he expressed his intentions. While sexually assaulting her, he called the pious woman towards him and said, Listen to my words and fulfill my wish, otherwise I will kill you. The God-fearing, virtuous woman said, I will never listen to you. Do whatever you want to do. The slave, crying over his failure, went away from there with hatred in his heart, thinking, I will destroy this woman. At night, when there was darkness everywhere, the slave came to the woman. The child was crying in her lap. She was caressing him. The cruel slave quickly attacked the child and cut down his head. 
Within moments, the child gave up his life in suffering. The slave quickly ran away to the noble man. He went closer and said, Sir, do you know what your guest did? Do you know what she has done to your child? You did her a favor, but she has treated your child very badly. The nobleman was very surprised and upset after listening to his slave's words and said, At least tell me what has she done to my child? The slave said, Sir, she has killed your child. If you don't believe, then come and see it with your own eyes. He reached there running and saw that indeed the child's throat was slit and his body was completely covered in blood. The nobleman asked to the woman, What did you do to my child? She said, I did not do anything to him, rather this slave of yours invited me to commit a sin. When I rejected did this, he killed the child. I am absolutely innocent in this matter. Hearing this, the nobleman said to her, O slave of Allah, you have made me involved in doubt about your matter. I don't want you to stay with me now. Take these 50 dinars and go from here to here whenever you want. These dinars will help you in your needs. The woman took 50 dinars and went towards the unseen destination, hoping for mercy from Allah Pak. When she passed near a settlement, she saw that there was a gathering, that is, there was a crowd of people, and one man was being brought to be hanged. The village leader was also present there. She went to the village leader and said, if it is possible that you can take 50 dinars from me and free this person, the village leader asked. Why? The woman told him just like this. The village leader of the settlement said, bring the money and hand it over to me. The woman gave 50 dinars. The village leader handed him over and freed the prisoner. The prisoner came to the pious noblewoman and said, you have done a favor to me by saving me by my life. Till date no one has done such a favor to me. Now I will serve you till I die. That man took the women with him and reached the sea with the woman. The boat was about to go. Both of them were in the boat. The woman very beautiful, and all the passengers were surprised to see her beautiful face. She went to the women's section and sat down. People asked the prisoner, Who is this beautiful woman? The man did not tell her that she has saved my life. Rather he said, This is my handmaid. I have paid for it and bought it. The man was captivated by the woman's beauty and asked, Will you give your handmaid to me? He said, I do not want to sell it because it loves me very much. When she comes to know that I have sold her then, it will cause a lot of trouble for her from my side. She has taken a promise from me that I will never sell her. Friends don't forget to like the video. The passenger said to him to take the money and quietly go away from here. Why need you tell her? The greedy and ungrateful and deceitful prisoner took a lot of wealth from the passenger and the silently got down from the boat and went away. He told all the passengers present in the boat that he has now bought this woman. No one should blame me for no reason. When the passenger became convinced that her owner had gone and could not come back, he went to the woman and said, From today you will be mine belonging. I have bought you. The woman said, Do the fear of Allah. How can one buy me when I am free and I am not even in anyone's belonging? The passenger said, Leaving aside these things, your owner has sold you and gone away from here. Now neither can you go to your owner, nor can you return back to me the money which your owner has taken from me. I bought you with lots of fund, and all the passengers are witnesses on this. If you don't believe, then ask them. The passengers said this. It is true that he has bought you with lots of funds, and we all are witnesses to this matter. Do fear of Allah. I swear by Allah I am independent. Till date no one has ever become my owner. I am not someone's female serf that can sell me. Fear Allah Ta'ala in this matter. Those people told the passenger. She will not listen like this whatever conduct has to be done. Do with her. She will listen by herself. Hearing this, the passenger moved towards her. When the woman felt that her honor was in danger, she cursed the people in the boat. Suddenly the boat sank, taking all of them with them. All the passengers lost their lives. Apart from the woman on the boat, no one else was alive. The king of the country, along with his people, was in the sea. All the people was enjoying. When the king saw the boat sinking, he immediately gave order to swimmer soldiers to quickly reach to help the people in the boat. When they went there, they did not find anyone alive except a woman. They took her to the king. The king who came to know the whole story of her, and he gave her the proposal of marriage. Your Majesty, my story is very strange and it is not permissible for me to marry because my husband has not yet divorced me. When the king heard this, he got a separate house built for her, and she started living in it. The time of train kept moving faster. 
Whenever any matter happened to the king, he used to come and discuss it with the lady. Alapak had given such blessings that by following them, the king would always get success. Now that pious woman had become very powerful. When the time of the king's death came near, he gathered his ministers, important figures and common people. And then he said, Oh people, how did you find me? I want to fulfill my wish that I will appoint this virtuous woman as the queen over you. While saying this, the king was presenting. Everyone said, Agreed king as you wish, inshallah it will be so. Then, the king handed over the throne of the entire country's kingdom to the woman. The process of justice started when her husband and brother-in-law came. It was announced for them to stand separately. Then, the person who was being hanged and had sold the woman also came. Go, take him to these two and put him on the next. Then the nobleman and his servant came, and they were also separated from the people. After taking them, the queen took her husband from those five people and asked, Do you recognize me? You are our queen. I am your wife. Listen to what your bad character brother did to me. Saying this, she narrated the whole incident. I am still pure, innocent and safe. Now tell me, what should be done with your immoral character brother? Hang him. Hang him in front of me. On his request, he was ordered to be hanged. Then she came to Abid and said, If you need anything, then tell me. I am the same woman who came to you in an injured condition. In fact, it was not me who murdered your son. Instead, it is your cruel slave, and he has falsely accused me. What do you want? He should also be hanged. On the request of the nobleman, the slave was also executed. Now it was the turn of the man who was being hanged, and the queen had saved him. When he came, he also died, and his body was hanged at the crossroads. And thus, all of them reached their destination, and the woman with external purity and supremacy kept herself respected at all times. She protected herself and kept an eye on the orders of Allah. She took less patience than the throne that she had today and the wealth of honor. Similarly, she continued to rule the kingdom and left this world in the condition of a good name and faith. Friends, in today's video, we just hope that today you must have liked this video of ours. What is your opinion about today's video? Do comment in the comment box, and you all are requested not to forget to share this video with your friends so that they also realize that those who have the fear of Allah in their hearts they love Allah and try to protect themselves from sins in every situation. Allah Almighty also protects them. Allah also respects them. Allah gives us the ability to learn a lesson from such stories. Ya Rab al Alameen. Friends, a new video will come very soon and we will be present in your service again. Till then, please give permission to our entire team. May Allah give peace to everyone. Be sure to give a like to the video and to get more Islamic videos regularly, subscribe to our Islamic channel and press the bell icon next to it.